if you lose out on a welterweight title shot because of this weight issue, will you kick yourself for that? Will you be angry at yourself because of that if you don't get the welterweight title shot? To who are they going to give that? Well, I mean, they're, they were basically saying... Who is the next there? Uh, everyone lose the fight. So right, but I think they're saying... Colby. Colby. Colby lose like two fights, two, three fights in a row. Masvidal lose. When he wins last time against the Diaz, you see Diaz fight so terrible. That guy's tall guys. How you, uh, that key people I don't understand thinking about they can win against me. That guy, Kevin Holland, tough guy, stronger guy. He's much better than Diaz, you know, like if Diaz him high fighting, Holland will kill him, you know. So I finished that guy and so easy. First round, I don't know, second minutes, what was that? So yeah, it's, Diaz has to thank God he didn't fight me, so. <laughs> I don't, I don't think that what they were saying, maybe you're misunderstanding. I know there's a language barrier, so I just want to be clear. They're not saying you're not good enough. Everybody knows you're good enough. I think the question was, are you reliable enough to make the weight when you have to? Because if you came in 178 at a title fight, that would screw the whole card up. And so I guess that's what they're referencing. Does that part concern you, or do you think you could make 170 at other points in the future? Of course, I, I did that before. Why not? So we'll see. I don't know. I so I said to you like I'm gonna go back and listen to my coach. If he said go one seventy, we go one seventy. Why he says like heavyweight, we go heavyweight. So I don't care. I do my training camp and how he says we train hard, never stop. I'm gonna go back like after tomorrow, going back and um, directly going to the gym. So I, I have nothing to do. Only gym is my life. I don't know. I'm scared about like when I finish my career, what I gonna do. So I know that guy so sitting on the writing stuff, and I know good that that shit. So I wanna fight till I die. So we'll see. Last question. Um, you said you thought Diaz basically looked terrible in there. Uh, you don't like him. I could tell you didn't like him. Do you, were you disappointed you didn't get the shot to beat him up, given how you feel toward him? What? Were you disappointed that you didn't get the chance to beat Nate up, given how you feel toward him? Yeah, but if I fight him, like, hell, I would kill him, you know? I would be in the jail, so maybe I have to be happy, so why not? What? Hamza, uh, a lot of fans seem to think that Kevin was reaching out for a glove touch at the beginning when you went in for a takedown. Did you see that, or are they just making things up on the Internet? What? Много фанатов говорят, что он пытался дотянуться, перчатками прикоснуться в начале, как бы как спортсменщим, да? Но, но ты сразу пошел на тейкдаун. Тебе казалось, что он к тебе тянулся с перчаткой, или ты этого не видел? Chamaev is a good fighter, but I still don't like him. The way he went about this, the weight ordeal, just rubs me the wrong way. He was fighting backstage, he was causing all sorts of problems for the card, and yeah, he won his fight. No one questions his skill or fighting ability, it's more just about his reliability, does he even really care? I know they say he works hard, but can he show up to the scale at a weight the fight is actually supposed to be at? That's part of his preparation, whether he likes it or not. And if he wants to win a title, he's got to put in the work and he's got to get to the right weight. If he can't do it, he's got to say something earlier so we're not finding out a different fight's happening the night before. But let me know in the comments what you guys thought about his fight against Kevin Holland. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.